Hi, this is Brooke Ballard, founder and chief social strategist with B Squared Media. Each month we bring you helpful how-to videos for everyday social strategies. And today we're going to focus on how to market your blog on Facebook. So you can see here that I have our B2 blog up and running. And let's say that I want to share our recent post, or the post that I put out today, which is nine fla flagrant Facebook fouls. I'm going to click on that post. And up here in the bar, it's going to show me the URL for this link, which we'll want to copy. So we'll just copy that. Then we'll head on over to Facebook. And let's say I want to post this blog. Now once I go into the status bar and hit paste, Facebook is going to recognize the title and picture from my blog. So what I need to do is go ahead and remove the link out of the text box. This ensures that you're not kind of making your post what we call ugly or double posting your link because this link down here is actually going to be the hot link or where people would click to get to your blog. So then you'll want to say something about your post. So today's rant about Facebook TOS. Violators. Now down here you'll see that it highlights yellow when you hover over the title. What you'll want to do is actually click on that, double click on that, and you'll be able to completely change the name of the post or the link where people are going to click. So what I like to do personally is I take out B Squared Media because that's kind of redundant. I usually leave in B2 Blog so that people know it is a piece of marketing that is coming from B Squared, but you could take that out as well um, if you wanted to and just leave the post, so nine flagrant Facebook fouls. You could also change this up entirely. So let's say you're promoting this blog post for a second time on Facebook, that you've already put it out the day that it went live, so today, um, with nine flagrant Facebook fouls, but maybe you want to promote it again, which I'll, I'll obviously um, is definitely recommended. You might want to change it up to, um, here are nine ways you can violate Facebook terms of service without even knowing. That way it seems like a new piece of content, it's a little bit more fresh and people might click on it um, that didn't see it the first time. Then all you would want to do is once you have this correct is hit post and as you can see the post goes out with the changed topic and the link is hot and our post is nice and pretty, we don't have double links in there. So that is just a little tip for you guys on how to market your blog post on Facebook. As always, you can find out more information about online marketing with B Squared at www.b2socialmedia.com. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.